this is basically all my gear almost uh, which I'm going to pack down in these two duffel bags uh, beginning with my backpack 70 liters which I will use uh, the whole journey uh, I have my sleeping uh, bag for minus 30 I will pick up another sleeping bag which I'm going to use in the base camp I have my sleeping mattress uh, and an extra sleeping pad and two pillows and a liner for my uh, sleeping bag in the base camp I've got my climbing helmet, I've got uh, just a normal cap and a beanie I've got two uh, balaclavas, uh, one which is actually a little bit better when you are going to use oxygen I have a buff uh, in marine wool and two buffs in nylon uh, you can never have enough of these, they, these are great uh, lots of socks, normal socks, liners, and of course my summit socks, which will be protected in an extra plastic bag. And the flags, one for the base camp and one for the summit, of course. Then uh, lots of t-shirts uh, in marine wool, and these are normal sport t-shirts. Uh, and then i got my uh, under layer and uh, base layer. i got uh, two tops, and uh, here we got my fleece jacket. And then we got lots of uh, pants and stuff. I got my cellopets uh, for the 8,000 meter altitude and for lower down the mountain I need to, to warm my legs a little bit I've got my synthetic pants um, I got this fleece suit, this is uh, kind of a one piece, it looks like a big pajamas I really look not that macho in it but uh, never mind and uh, I got my underwear and uh, I got my hard shell and then I got the soft shell pants for lower altitudes and uh, normal soft shell climbing pants uh, moving on to the jackets, uh, here we've got my uh, hard shell jacket, I've got the wind jacket, just for a low altitude, and i got my 8000 meter jacket. This is like, uh, I look like I'm going to cl climb the moon or something. And uh, my normal camp down jacket. Um, then moving on to the energy, I'm not ready here yet, I'm going to provide as much as energy as possible. and. Uh, it's uh, really hard to, to eat on the higher altitudes, so I'm going to, to provide, bring and provide as much of, of candy as possible uh, just to be able to eat and um, lots of energy stuff as well. Uh, then I got my hiking poles, I got my climbing gear, I got my axe, I got my crampons, my harness, lots of carabiners, uh, and uh, the tools for ascending and descending my ascender and my figure eight and ATC buckets, and some extra ropes. And then we got this table. I've got all my stuff for the toilet purposes, uh, pretty much, but I will need it. Uh, I got my medication, it's just normal painkillers and stuff like that. I have got some tablets for cleaning water and uh, strep cells. Oh, I missed this so much uh, during Aconcagua. Uh, just when the throat is getting sore uh, after the cold and the winds and everything. I think it's so nice to have strep cells and just uh, to, to be able to relax uh, for a little bit. Then I got my camp uh, bag with some headlights and uh, yeah, plugs and stuff like that. Uh, a small towel. I actually got a mirror here as well. I'm going to, to keep it, this as long as possible and just pop it uh, in the end of the journey and just take a look at how I look like. Uh, I believe that will be some kind of a horror experience. And then we got some more camp stuff. I got my cup, uh, spoon, uh, plate and stuff like that. I got my hydro pack. I got this mask. This is just to provide a little bit more of warm air to my lungs. Uh, actually works fine when I'm uh, sleeping uh, to use that one. My thermos, two water bottles and two bottles which I can pee in. One I will leave in the base camp, another one I will bring higher up on the mountain. Uh, some hand warmers, uh, mainly for the summit day. Uh, my normal goggles. And my sunglasses, glacier glasses. I got the batteries for my uh, foot warmers. Then I got the technical stuff. Uh, I got the solar panel, one extra camera just for summit photos and stuff like that. Batteries, camera batteries, my power bank, more memory cards and stuff like that. Uh, and basically that's it. And moving on to the, what I'm going to use on my feet. Uh, I got my climbing boots, my high altitude climbing Olympus Mons. Some sandals just for camps and early on perhaps. Uh, my tennis shoes also for, for camps and early on. Uh, these are my down boots, uh, it's nice to use them in the tent, uh, for example, or around the base camp. And then extra winter boots, uh, these are just for base camp, I'm, I'm going to keep and use them there. Uh, it's just easier to get in and out uh, in these ones, and uh, they're really warm actually. 
and my normal hiking boots. And last but not least, I have got a glove system. I got uh, two pair of liners, merino wool liners. I got some fleece gloves. Then I got my working gloves um, with the liners for those. Uh, I'm mainly going to use these ones when I'm working with ropes and uh, ladders and stuff. And an extra pair of gloves also working around camps or when I need uh, as much as dexterity as possible, but I don't need a, a really much warmth. When it's getting colder, I hope I can use these ones uh, as high as possible. Uh, the ultimate uh, would be if I can use these ones uh, all the way up to the summit because I do have dexterity and uh, with the liners as well I can remove the shell and still hopefully handle cameras and stuff without freezing my hands off. And here I got the mittens for the colder part. I actually do love and enjoy the Hestra mittens, but they are really too bulky, especially if I'm going to use an ascender. I can't use uh, these gloves with an ascender, it's impossible for me. But with the North Face gloves, I can actually handle and operate uh, carabiners and, and ascenders well. So I think I will only bring these ones, but perhaps I will also, if I got uh, room in my bags, I will also bring the, the Hestra gloves. Uh, it's always good to have a backup. Uh, with you. Um, basically, yes, uh, I think that's it. Um, as I said, I will provide more energy and uh, let's see how it looks like when I pack everything down in the bags and uh, I'm going to use compression sacks and stuff like that so hopefully I can compress it and uh, fit everything in these two duffel bags.